All right, I think I'm here. For those who have never messed with YouTube streaming or anything like that before, you on OBS, you press start stream, and then you wait, and then it asks if you want to go live. Well, yeah, I, that's why I press start stream. And then um, I sit here and I wait another at least 60 to 90 seconds as I'm watching my YouTube channel itself on online, and then I start seeing ads. So. I was here at five o'clock, maybe five oh one ish, but um so I guess everybody can see me, hear me. Welcome everybody. So what's been going on? I've been in meetings all day, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That's why I have not been active on Discord that much. I have been meeting all day. I was in Baton Rouge, came all the way back here to be able to do a live with y'all instead of canceling out. Um, entropy forever. I don't know what else to talk about. That's all I've been dealing with. All I've been getting questions on, but I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. I don't want to just take that over. Um, one thing for those who are in wing bits, this is one thing I have been playing with. I try to get it to work to the day and I couldn't get it to work, but Wingbits now has where you can click on hexes and see, this is the owner hexes, and then you can see what people are, you know, what data points they're doing and what rewards they're getting per hex or that owner. So, you know, I don't know who this person is, so I'm gonna click on his and he's getting four, five, so you know, and the reason why this came about was, let me see if I can shrink it up a little bit for y'all so y'all can kind of see the whole screen. So why did this come about? This came about because you had people asking, hey, if I want to go put a, go put a station somewhere, if, if y'all caught my video today, people will complain about, man, um, You know, my, my station only getting six six wings a day or something like that. Well, and some of us were getting 300, 800, you know, depending on where you put it at. So before you go put a station right here in the, in the middle of, the, of, of this whole cluster, you can now see where, um, you know, if it's worthwhile for you or not. Where you come over here and this person might be doing 28, 30 a day. In seven days, they got 194. So it's it's just a way of kind of helping you figure out. So somebody like this who's out in the middle of nowhere, if they have a good setup. Now this person set up. Let me move my fat head. Apparently has done something to increase his whether or not he had this this whether or not he had this inside, and then finally moved the antenna outside. But I mean, he went from 20 nine a day to 115 a day wings um i see people encroaching on my territory up here let me see where am i at oh this is where i'm at hang on So this must be mine. So there used to be another station down here that went must have went offline because I was the third one. I was close to Mountain Home. But anyway, so you can see basically you can you get to see um Blue Star. I, the only thing we can say about that is is we don't know what the wings are gonna be worth. Um we don't know about ROI or something like that, but for some of us who have been in it over a year we got a decent amount but this is a cool little deal to be able to go around you know like i, I don't understand this i don't understand why it, you know if you live here why why would you now like some of these stations ain't even online so at what point at what point do, do these do these things go away you know that was one of my complaints with helium and with the other scam project is 
they left these hexes lit up for months after stations went offline. And to me, that's false advertising for potential customers. So this one ain't online. This one ain't online. Oh, it is. So this one's doing 40, 60. Let's see about this one. 60, 70. But again, you know, why would you put something in this cluster? But if I live like here, you know, it depends on where you live at, you know, what you're getting. Two of mine says seven, seven. So I'm getting about a, a thousand a day. I still have two or three stations online, offline, whatever you want to call it, from uh, the hurricane. I just don't have time to get stuff down. Again, my number one station that was in Grand Dial has been offline. I don't even know if my station over here is online or not. I think that's mine because it's right on the Gulf. So, this is my other one at Corpus Christi. That one's doing very well. My Corpus Christi station is still booming. Number one, number two, number one, number two, three, two, 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 one, two. Seven day, 1,000. So Corpus Christi one's doing good. But anyway, that's wing bits. That is a new thing that, that a lot of people have asked for. I know they worked hard on getting that done. So um, 40 miles away and I gave her 50 tokens a day. It's pretty low max supply though, so who knows? We don't know. Just like all these other projects, we don't know. And it could be like some projects where you do awesome the first two or three months that it gets released and goes to mainnet, and then it double hockey sticks after that, as my new favorite term is when I heard somebody say that the other day. Or because, you know, you look at Weather XM and you look at the fact that um, what they're doing by taking, you know, some of their data sales income, money, whatever you want to call it, funds, and they're injecting that liquidity back in there, you can't complain that, I mean, you cannot say that that doesn't work. I complain about the other stations that, I mean, the other projects that, do, that don't do that when Weather XM's showing directly what happens. Let's see. You look at Weather XM, I'm trying to get it up here, but that's one thing I can't stay in live because it, I can't just cut and paste and cut and paste and stuff like that. So you look at Weather XM and how Weather XM just had this complete price decrease, price decrease, price decrease. And then when they started injecting $4,000 a day worth of liquidity in here, it, it, it helps out. There's, it's no doubt it helps out. You had some price decrease, but that also was the market also. But you went from 36 cents to 54, 53, 54 cents. That kind of injecting that liquidity helps. Wingbits are saying they're going to do that. So you're hoping that this is something that, that, that can be sustained. So, oh, so we got Mr. Olufsen, Blue Star, Dave McDrip, based in turn, Blue Star, Blue Star. Steve Vazolino is waiting. Steve Vazolino has been extremely busy making hats, hats and shirts. For those who, if there's anybody here who has shirts or hats waiting, don't blame me or Mr. D. Vazolino because we just wanted to get permission. There's one thing when I had this one hat that had, you know, what I picked personally, this was only my personal hat. So I didn't care what logos were on it. It's my own personal hat. Screw it. You know, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be my first copyright complaint. Godfather of the Gulf. But anyway, but now that I'm trying to do them, I say in mass, but m more people, I think we're doing six or seven hats, a couple of t-shirts. I wanted to get those projects permissions before I started just pasting their logos all over the place and kind of giving those out. And um, it took a couple of days to get them back to me. I guess they wanted to go check with legal and stuff, but basically... As long as y'all know that they don't have any really input into it, it's me giving away swag or whatever you want to call it. 
they're not officially part of the giveaway, they were cool with doing it. So hats and t-shirts will finally be shipped soon as they make them. So Blue Star says 10 billion max supply. GNS 3.5 is a price could easily get around five to 10 cents, not financial advice. We take this break to get my trusted calculator out. Hmm. Yeah. Well, between wing bits and uh entropy, I might be able to just say somebody else can take over my YouTube channel. I'm going up vacation on my speedboat. Look at axes in the chat. So yeah, so that was the new wing bits. Uh, the new wing bits dashboard. Again, I like it because I have people who still contact me about putting up a wing bit station. I tell them, hey, if you don't already have a GPS reserved, you're not gonna be able to get into it right now. But when they ask about what type of location, what can they expect? Now they can easily go to that dashboard, see if there's stations. If there's no stations around, oh, that's all I wanted to check. If there's no stations around where they are, then they just need to jump on it. Like we don't know how long it's going to be exactly from, there's a certain station I wanted to check that is really, really, really out in the middle of nowhere. I just don't know how, what kind of airfare, what kind of aircraft they get. So I'm curious to know, what are they getting? I helped this young man set up a station in Africa. And I know um, Robin from Wingbits even did a little thing on it, one of the first stations in Africa. This one station's going 1,200 wings a day. <clears throat> 1,200 wings a day almost. Let's see. 1149, 1133. That's his one station. One station. I helped him put him up. Of course, I didn't go to Africa to help him put up. Did a lot of stuff remotely, but I really helped him out. And then he's taken upon himself now to put two more stations up. These, um, these other stations right here. And I'm not even going to try to even pronounce that. But one was Lagos. And um, he had this one too. I don't even want to try to pronounce that one. This is doing 500 a day. And I, mean, I helped him. The other guy also put his up here. This was another one that, that um, I'd helped him out. I just don't think he gets a lot of aircraft in the area. I don't know what's flying over Nairobi or not. But that goes to show you though, this, but this is the real reason I wanted to bring this up. Was that goes to show you though, if you have access somehow to a open area that doesn't have any other of these stations around, this gentleman is doing in basically one day with one station, what I'm doing with 12 or 13 stations in a more saturated area. So it's all about location, location, location. So Dave McDrip. I don't know if Axie wants to answer that question. Um, I saw somebody above post a number of what a new GeoNets backslash WingBits device would cost. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Or the release date. Don't know that either. But, um... Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's about all I had for today. If anybody's caught my... I know it's kind of an... I know you'll find hard to believe, but a kind of a-hole video. But the, the amount of panic that people had for... Bitcoin. And I tried telling people 
to watch this and watch what happens if we bounce off this line and people didn't want to listen to me i mean i was in full arguments when people on facebook about this and i, I don't i don't understand it like i don't understand we, we've been around this long enough that y'all should know by now charts don't lie and people don't want to people just don't want to recognize this but it is what it is now do i do i think it's going all the way down no because you can see it's kind of stabilized here a little bit so could it go back up and retest it absolutely but i just want y'all you know every time it's kind of come close to hitting this line people didn't think it was getting i heard it this time and i heard it this time we're not going back under the 50s i mean under the 60s we're not going back in the 60s we got too much retail in it etfs whatever whatever and you've hit it you know my lines might not be perfect but they're close enough for y'all to get the picture and i'm not a ta guy y'all don't come to me for ta i understand that but you know this is this is 51,000, 51,600, 51, 800. Again, i'm not saying it's going to that i'm just making sure y'all know that that's that's where we've hit before. So one one more thing. Um, I don't know what Ethereum's doing. I don't know what Solana's doing. I have I've been kind of busy all day, so I haven't really checked. But you know, you got Solana going back into this. Uh, let's see if I can hide my face. Hide my face. Um, so long as this $136 deal, I like it. I like it. Um, dude, I know you did not just do that. Come on, man. I, I appreciate that, but you did not have to do it. Look, I, I appreciate that from living in Dallas. Dude, he's been one of my longtime followers. I'm actually planning on doing a couple of, like, one or two giveaways in this. Dude, you did not have to do that. I am one that... I don't like getting gifts. I feel weird about it. Um, but dude, that's that's crazy. And I I'm completely like choked up. Like that's absolutely crazy. I really appreciate that. It'll help me buy the couple of fans I need left for my home computer build. But dude, that's that's absolutely crazy, man. I, I can't thank you enough for that. And I, I'm just I, I'm um lost for words. I, I just can't believe that, dude. I, I really appreciate that. And thank you. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but just thank you. But yeah, I completely lost my track of thought on that train of thought. Dude, thank you, man. I, I appreciate that, seriously. Nobody tell my wife. She'll already have it spent on Amazon and packages halfway to my house. But thank you. So going back to Solana, look, y'all know I'm seeing people. Listen, this is just other people. I like to bring this stuff to y'all. People talking about a thousand dollar Solana. Do I think this is just me personally, not financial advice? Do do I think Solana's going there? No, I, I just can't see. I, that's a huge jump in a bull market. It, plus, are we even going to have this hard bull market? But you can't doubt that there are a lot of projects right now that that are going to Solana. I mean, you talk about Wing Bitch. You talk about you know all all, all these projects. I would be surprised. I still say Silencio. How long can he wait for peak? Everybody else who was supposed to use peak, no disrespect to him, but they were supposed to be ready months ago. Kept getting delayed, kept getting delayed. People jumped to Solana. I think Silencio at some point is going to have to do the same thing, but there's so many projects going to Solana. I'm predicting a $750 to $800 Solana next bull market. I could be smoking crack or something, but I just think... I see, I easily see Solana leapfrogging um, BNB without a problem, without a doubt. And at one time, if y'all remember, it wasn't a month or two ago when, when the big, big craze was going on with all this um, meme stuff. And Solana had beat, was, was, was number four for a while. But I can definitely see Solana beating out BNB and Tether in the next bull run. Do I think, you know, people talk about Ethereum. I, I, I can't see it. I, that's, 
that's a big jump, man. That, that is a big jump to go from 80, you know, to two. And, it, and not only that, but in the bull run, this, is, this number is going to be higher also. It's going to be very high. But you listen to a lot of articles. You listen to a lot of people talking. And they all say how people slowly have had enough of the Ethereum gas fees. Yes, some of the gas fees did get helped with the last um, upgrade that they had. But I'm just telling you what all the videos I'm watching, articles I'm reading, talking about people having, you know, second, you know, having doubts or not liking the fact that Ethereum's gases are outright stupid. That's why I won't even play with some of that stuff just because of that reason is yeah, okay, I made all this profit on Ethereum coin, but when I go move it off my Exodus or on an Exodus or something like that, I I'm losing 25% of it. It's crazy. Solana, you don't have that kind of stuff. So, I, I look, I hope Solana does too. I tell the same story. I sound like a broken record. I was buying Solana at $8, $10, $12, $14. Dollars. My buddy with me, me and him were texting yesterday about it. I had people in the Helium Facebook group when we were talking about it, when that was happening, and they were downright laughing at me, calling me a fool, because they were watching BitBoy and all these goofballs saying, Solana's dead. Wendio, Solana's dead. It's mixed up with FTX. And I'm like, Solana's not dead. You just had a helium go to it. You had all these other projects going to it. Loaded up on it. So, oh, up my production quality. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the market thing. Um, you know, I know a lot of y'all came here for, from the same group and, and we can't deny this right here. This has been a fun project. I can't lie to y'all. And it, it's been, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it to y'all. It's been fun. It, price action, like you get, you get so excited every time you look at the price especially on the way down, you get excited in the other direction, but this has just been crazy. You know, um, I told y'all, I started buying this back down here when um, I ordered the miner and I couldn't get, you know, I knew it was gonna be two or three days before getting in. Everybody was telling me to get into it. I wish I would have listened to Jay Walt, man. I tell y'all, he told me about this before he even put a video out. You know, we, we've, we're friends because we both got scammed by the same scam project. He got scammed worse than I did, but not to tell his business. <laughs> But he told me about this thing weeks before this. And I kicked myself in the rear end for not getting involved in it before that. But hey, I'm in it now. And it's it's a fun group. The Discord's very cool. Um Well thank you. Thank you, Base. Um I think the only thing, my, my biggest thing, I got to give you, I got to tell you something right now. My audio, when I listen to my old videos, my audio was absolutely horrible. And I'll have to say, Axie is the person who helped me through all that, sent me videos, gave me tips on it. I have a cheap little Amazon Fifine, fi Fifine, fi Fifine, something, whatever it is. Um, microphone because I said I wasn't going to put my money into all that until I knew this channel was going to get bigger, which of course it did. You know, that was that was 20,000 or 15,000 subscribers ago. Um, and now I'm planning on once I get the computer done, I will invest in a better microphone, a better camera, and that kind of stuff. My biggest issue right now, of course, is the green screen, is because my green screen is not tight because where I'm at, I can't really hang it. I just try to kind of cover some of the crud up behind me. So when I start moving around, you can see my office behind me. And I've already got in trouble once for that because somebody saw my deer head that was hanging up and filed complaints and stuff about my deer head. But when it was at my office, I really couldn't do nothing. When at home, I'm planning on building a nice, you know, and let me tell you, my wife's just thrilled about it. But I've cleaned up my guest bedroom. Just got a couple of ham radio stuff in it. And I'm planning on making that kind of a YouTube studio. I got to figure out figure out some sound proofing type stuff like that. But hopefully I can get rid of the whole green screen thing and just have a natural background behind me. And I think that's going to help out a lot. So listen, we, Ooh, um, I can't remember what I had yesterday. 
I think one was nine, the other one was a uh, ten, maybe. Them Texas Bucks, man, they they they. And I'm talking about big boys too. I thought I shot a horse at one point. But going back to this price action on on on, and listen, is it? Give me a one if it's entropy. Give me a two if it's entropy, and give me a three if they're both wrong. Because I've been corrected when I called it entro entropy, and when we had a voice chat, that's what's cool about this Discord. A bunch of us just jumped into the voice chat like a day or two ago and just had just just started having a conversation. Some of us were back from the helium days. We've never talked voice to voice like that. We jumped in this voice channel in Discord and just started BSing, and it was cool as hell. I've always said Wingbits has the most strict ran Discord, and that's why I liked it because coming from some other p places, people were allowed to bash each other. People are allowed to bash the projects. I actually them run a great Wingbits straight and narrow Discord professional where the E project, Entropy, based in turn says it's Entropy. Entropy is, which is going to kill me because I've always called it Entropy. Entropy, it's, uh, it's not the wild, wild west. It's not grass where people can just call each other, the, you know, the F word, um, you know, the other word for gay and all this stuff like that. It ain't that bad, but it's still a fun thing where you can kind of mess and rib with each other a little bit, but you still kind of keep it in this confined area. It has been a fun, fun thing. I'm, I'm supposed to be doing work and I'm too busy watching the entropy discord to see what's going on next. People, you know, anywhere else, anywhere else, if somebody said, show me your hole, you would have been with Diddy in the jail cell. Yeah. <laughs> but, but in that one, but it's, it's been fun. Hey, the, the price actions come down a little bit, but I tell you what, when we've been buying down here, because I've been buying, I haven't really moved hardly anything from my miner to my device. So almost everything in my wallet has been what I bought. For the last week now, every day I'm making with seven to eight dollars on my IoT from Helium, and I have um, every day been buying that with IoT buying the Entropy with it. But that wasn't enough for me, so I took twenty dollars or something here. And then the other day, while we were on the Discord voice, we we're all talking about like yeah, like mobiles this and mobile's that so i took 50 dollars worth of mobile and just bought more entropy that was also when it was at like point zero zero three zeros one eight something one nine something so i'm still up on that and my buddy last night who also got in around the same time i did when it was up to point zero zero five last night goes and starts taking profit and i'm about to strangle him through the call of duty uh thing i'm like oh you can't be selling man you're killing the price he didn't really kill it that bad but me at some point, I probably should be taking some, you know, we all know the second law, you can't sell from what you, um, what you mind, but man, uh, is it, it's not Blue Star? Blue Star, come on, man, y'all killing me, y'all killing me. People say I sound like I'm from New York or New Jersey. I was doing, um, I used to do, um, rod share for, in the city. My daughter played so much travel softball. Y'all know, if any of y'all know what it cost, gloves $300, literally. Bat, $450, plus the travel ball fees. I had I already had my main job in my side business, and I still need more money. I'd go do rod share in, in, in New Orleans. And people are like, oh, you sound like you're from New York. And I'm like, I'm born and raised in South Louisiana. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you sound like my buddy from New Jersey. Never been there. Don't know what the hell y'all talking about. But, uh, yeah, man, I think it sound like in, intro P sounds cool. Look, y'all just confusing the hell out of me now. I need to come up with a whole new slang. But, hey, I want to say congratulations. I did a short a little while ago. I want to say congratulations to the Entropy team, Professor Lambo and them. For those who have not heard, Entropy token was now, was it qualified, verified? on jupiter exchange so now when i go and i buy my solana or if i'm exchanging my iot i use that jupiter i even had a video on buying that from uh, my iot to or, or swapping it iot to jupiter it had this big disclaimer on it that this coin is not verified entropy is now verified i don't know if they put that on the discord i, I missed it 
when um, I was in my meetings, but I saw some people talking about it after. So I went and moved a little bit of token just to see if it would say it. Boom. Did I participate in any pre-sales? I didn't. I don't. I don't think they had pre-sales. Maybe Booster or one of them guys have been there for longer, but I thought the whole thing about Entropy was it's miners. No, Hickviz, I'm about to do one right now. Thanks for reminding me. So let me see if I can play with this. I've been trying to play with different pick winners, as they call them. Um, I guess you call them pick winners. And like I said, I've been trying to play with a couple of different ones because I have to figure out how do I pick winners. So for, for everybody that doesn't know, we have a contest going on right now that, that everybody who likes and subscribes my videos, likes each video, starting on Monday, which was three days ago, until I reach 20,000, unless it gets to be way too many videos. But if you like each video, you subscribe to the channel, you comment on the video, and you also have to make sure that you at least subscribe to the to my Twitter X or whatever the kids call it these days. I'm gonna pick some, put put everything into one of these uh fancy what they call them YouTube comment picker things, and uh, give away some stuff and. Unlike some of my past, you know, when I was first starting off, I'd, I'd do some giveaways and was given like $2.50 worth of, you know, bid harvest token or something like that, because I didn't have that much. They gave me something to give out also. So I gave out $5 here, $10 here. It's going to be a little bit more than that. Um, and hey, if, if entropy goes up, it might be a lot more than that. Um, I've even had somebody reach out and donate some entropy miners. Um, we're going to also give away some hats, but we're gonna have some decent giveaways whenever I hit 20K. So I don't know when that's gonna be. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but my checkbook says hopefully it's not right now. So um so let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Let me before I've learned my lesson, before I start chroming around, I want to um Make sure I hide that because I've learned the hard way that Google can 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 come up with some crazy stuff. <laughs> See when I when I try to get the shared feed. Share, copy. See if so if any of y'all have ever used one of these, I've even reached out to a couple of people. So that's the share feed, and I go to YouTube Random Picker. I close that out, paste it. it. It doesn't have anything. So I'm gonna come on this side, and I'll try to Google a couple of things while we're sitting here chit chatting. But um, that's really all I got for um for this one. Like I said, I haven't really been too much. Wingbits, Wingbits has kind of, I think they might have inadvertently released, or some people had, um, some people, somebody released a picture of their design, of their, their, their new product, their new miners, whatever you want to call them. I like them. I, I said, I think they look very rugged. I am curious to see how the little antenna goes on top or something like that. I think I think it's gonna be cool, man. Um, I'm I'm waiting to see what happens with that. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know what we're gonna do. So what's the current way to get a minor roll in entropy? Still dig a hole or something else? Basically, no hole, no roll. That, that is correct. Um, join the Twitter. Join the Discord. Dig a hole. Dig a hole that, that looks worthwhile. That's worth your troubles. 
um, to show that. And look, basically, basically all that is is you're trying to just prove that you're real. Um, trying to get the rules for y'all and we can go over them together. But basically, you're trying to you 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 digging out you you joining the Discord. You go dig a hole. Once you dig the hole, you put your name, your Discord name into the hole. Make sure you have some fresh dirt around it. Show that you that it's fresh, that you went through the effort. You submit that on the Discord or the Twitter X. You share maybe some people, tag some people in it. And at some point, as long as you're real, as long as you're not using some kind of weird second or third Discord or something crazy like that, you should be able to get a minor role. Once you get that minor role, you then submit the form with your Solana wallet. On the date there, you open up a ticket, get a binary, X for binary, pledge firmware. I put a video out yesterday of kind of showing all that um, so that y'all, you know, following the instructions is, is, is easy on the, on, I did I did four of these already. I did one from one of mine, then I did my other one yesterday during the video. So I did that one twice, and then I've helped two friends with it. Is I remote into their laptop wherever they at, tell them to plug it in, tell them to download the Wi-Fi app, and I did it over remote for them. And each all four of those times, I had to either get them to press the two buttons to do a reboot or do a power cycle. That's not in the instructions. But then Fluffy, if y'all know Fluffy from Helium and stuff like that, I was on with Call of Duty with him last night while he was doing his. He didn't have to do no reboots, no button presses. So Discord channel has been nuts lately. So many timeouts today. Man, see, I missed all that. See, I'm doing work. And, and, I, and I'm missing all the fun on Discord. Maybe I need to take a vacation day. I got some vacation time built up. That's for hunting season. But um, maybe I need to take a vacation day and just play in the Discord all day. I'm probably going to take a vacation day next week, put my computer together. Yeah. Well, Dave, Dave, that is actually how my channel started was for the older people like me who couldn't set up, you know, put, take their Helium device and put, back then we were using Ubuntu, now Debian or something like that, and putting wing bits on it, stuff like that. Some people didn't know how to do all that. Everybody had, you know, we, we came from Windows. We were joking today, Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows DOS or something like that. We have a guy that, that transferred out of our, my IT division and went another part and then begged to come back. So we said we were trying to find a Windows 3.1 emulator. We wanted to take his computer on his desk and put Windows 3.1 on it and told him the longer he stays that we know he's serious and staying with us this time, we were gonna go from Windows 3.1 to, uh, what was it, Win95, then Windows Millennial, then XP and stuff like that. So look, I wanna do giveaways. I, I don't know, I don't know why they, these don't work. I don't know. It's telling me comments are, are disabled, but yet we're all commenting. I even commented that first. I don't know why it's not giving dude any giveaway. So did I set up an urban miner yet? I, I don't know. I, I I was in the Irwin, but I keep saying something about opening boxes and challenges and stuff like that. I, am I completely missing something? I'm hearing it is a good project. Just so everybody knows. I'm hearing it's a good project. I just don't know what, what it is. Erwin, the Erwin token. Um, I am looking at getting, um, let me see what else we got here. I am planning also getting, I'm trying to look at getting a new, the Nubula weather station, just cause I want another weather station that I can rely on this weather XM. It's making a couple of tokens a day. Still no weather. It won't do precipitation, won't do rain. I can't find anything wrong with it. Now they're dinging me saying my sensors are bad. Like I'm supposed to take my, my trusty screwdriver 
and uh and go up there and start taking the thing apart i don't know what i'm supposed to do so i'd like to find another weather station that's a little more accurate that i can take care of i mean and let's make a little crypto um so i am looking at nubula i don't know about sky x or not i'm hearing a couple of different things about that and onacore I, I am looking at doing all those i just need time just need time to, to start the code opens the box of rewards no one guesses the box and tokens inside get burned yeah booster we might have to have a side you might have to do one of these look, look so I, i'll tell you right now some of these projects people have to hold my hand and then i kind of translate it into the older language for us and then i'll do a video and then i'll give that person hey Blue showed me how to do all this so now i'm bringing it to y'all i'll give you props that grumpy didn't figure this out Blooster did and held my hand <laughs> but if it's a way for me to bring it to the masses dude you know we um yeah i, I don't know um so yeah 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 yep 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 dude i remember playing my first my, my first real big video game was was it minecraft and uh doom on windows 3.0 and you had the same little you know going around and you had the code that you can get to the boss at the end and yeah that's humble and then we had my son actually found my atari 2600 that's how old i am in the attic and we couldn't even get it to hook up and it was that's a joke that's a joke but uh, yeah i mean uh, look erwin i guess that's what it's called i am interested in looking at that i've heard people rover I, I i am i don't know anything really about the project i've heard some good things about the project i'm gonna tell you about that my, my look i am negative about everything negative about everything i tell everybody i could win a million dollars and i'll be negative about it because i have to pay 25 to 50 percent of it back to the uncle sam who didn't do anything for it so i can be negative about anything rover my issue is a lot of people are just getting this little gps dongle thing which makes hardly any rewards from what i'm reading the rewards are all into the big lidar device if i could put this device that's the size of i wish i had something bigger because it's bigger than then this is my sweet potato case and it's bigger than this i could put this on top of my vehicle my wife's vehicle y'all gonna find grumpy strangled on top going down the road listen we do some crazy stuff in crypto we do some crazy stuff in crypto i don't think i can put that on my work vehicle no i can go put i can go plug in um sword chain and demo in the ob2 port with a splitter nobody's going to see that but going through with a work with a big rover thing on the top of it i i i, I don't know i don't know how it's going to work out and if you think i'm putting that on my wife's brand new toyota camry <laughs> Or white toyota camry i don't know hey listen i might be i might be completely missing out in the rewards on the lidar version because they're like four or five x whatever the little gps dongle is that might be some really good rewards if you can get over the size and the obnoxiousness and what the initial price is hick viz i'm gonna tell you right now you must not be watching any of my monday videos if you're gonna ask me that question because I am done with Demo. Now, there's two differences between done with Demo and done with Natix. Done with Demo means my dongle is plugged into this OB2 port of my vehicle, my wife's vehicle, my son's vehicle. We don't ever have to touch it. They get to go off, they ain't gotta worry about syncing it, doing anything, it works off helium, no problem. Natix, I have to sit there and fin finagle with it to make seven cents a day. It, if y'all saw my short, I'm done with Natix. It's off the thing. It's off my um, dashboard, and I'm not messing with it no more. I can't see me paying money for a demo device right now with the way the rewards are. It, me, again, not financial advice, because if it don't work out, I don't want you to come to my channel. But for me, I'm taking a chance with Rover as a new project, because we all know what most of these projects will do. Um, most of these projects will do as a new project i would do i would do rover first if 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 i had the money sitting on the side you telling me here's a here's a handful of money and i have to go buy either rover 
or Demo. I'm, I'm doing Rover. Now, which one you do, whether it's the GPS version or the bigger, the, the little bigger thing, you know, I don't know um, that, but I'm, I'm just done with Demo. I, I can't see, I hate, to, I hate to ever talk about my fellow YouTubians out there, but I can only imagine the only reason some of these YouTube people are talking so great about these Demo LTEs is because they got some type of deal with them. Um, Let me see if I can get into Rover. So I'm assuming that this must be places where people have traveled. Oh, and for those who haven't also caught up on one of the videos, I did finally decide to cancel my Hive Mapper device. I wanted to speak about that too. It's getting kind of late. So before I forget, because everybody has been asking me about that, I have canceled my Hive Mapper device. Um, for some reason, all I've got was half my money. I, I bought originally the HDC, then that was supposed to ship, and it didn't ship. And then they said, "Hey, you can also get the B for an additional two hundred something dollars more." My two hundred something dollars hit my account yesterday as a refund. My other initial money has not refunded yet. It says give you know a couple of days. I'm giving them a couple of days. But my plan is to take that money and to probably go put that into one of those projects we just spoke about. So I can still say it's crypto related. Um, you know, which one I'm, I'm going to put into yet? I don't know. But I want to see if I can find. Is there a place on here that I can go look and we can all see what the uh, latest device is? Look, this picture don't do this thing justice. This thing's big. That's what she said. Look at the price. Oh, God. So anyway, let's take back everything I said. I, I don't know what, what type of rewards this is going to get. I know this right here is supposed to get a lot. But ladies and gentlemen, $4,300 for a project that Look, I had a hard time telling people about Chirp, and Chirp's 800. And I'm telling y'all right now, and I'm saying this again, I'm, I, I am, I, I have very good feelings about the Chirp project. I wish they're doing a little bit more right now, other than some gaming stuff. But anyway, I'm not going there. But my plan is, hopefully, especially if it, entropy keeps going the way it is, it won't be as hard to swallow. But when that NFT for a, for a Chirp device starts getting sold again, I'm planning on buying at least one. I have one chirp now that I won, and so I'd like to purchase at least one. That's eight hundred dollars, and I'm I have to hide that from my wife. This is this, whoo, whoo. so. Anybody here is anybody here at all contemplate? Because from what I understand, to make this project successful, and what I have read, they are counting on both of these being out in the wild, as we say. You know, if if everybody buys this and nobody buys this, the project is still not, I don't want to say not going to make it, but I'm sure they got some people in here that um, use the money to buy more trophy. Look, Dave, I, I'm loading up on it. I, I got I got a couple of million in trophy right now. And like I said, none of that's from my miner because I haven't really moved any of it yet, other than maybe the second day. So, um. I even talked to professional Professor Lambo today. My plan is to start kind of offloading some of my purchased entropy because I don't want to get in trouble with the second law. So I'm creating another, 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 another phantom wallet. And my entropy that I have been purchasing out of pocket, entropy, entropy out of pocket, I'm planning on moving that down to my new wallet so that when I am moving my entropy from my um minor to my phantom wallet i know exactly what i can't touch because the second law i don't want to get in trouble with that but the, the the two or three million that i have that i purchased so far i can give i can give some of that as giveaways so like coins were 2000 from what i heard but as usual chances of rewards will likely have dipped by then and, and that's the whole thing is this is this is you know where asics are way worse than this um 
you know, back in, was it June or July, whenever that was, when in Texas, when they had um, that crypto, the um, crypto thing going on in Texas, I was in talks with, um, was it one of the ASIC manufacturers and stuff like that, talking to me and stuff like that. And look, I, I appreciate the support, but I can't tell everybody, anybody to go buy a fifteen or sixteen thousand dollar ASIC. That by the time you get it, yes, you're making fifty dollars a day, sixty dollars a day, hundred dollars a day, but you never ROI on it because the, the it goes down so fast. I could never talk to somebody into buying to buying this. I, I just that, that that's I'm saying like Hickviz. I'm showing I'm showing with it down. Whether or not this comes down some, I don't know. You know, I know my luck. Let me tell you what my luck is. My luck is I'd buy one of these. Go park in New Orleans somewhere. When I come back, it's gone. That's that's my my luck. Or some bird hits it on the interstate when I'm doing 75, 80 miles an hour, and the whole thing gets ripped off. That's that's my luck. That's my luck. Man, y'all better start y'all better start telling your people quit quit selling their entropy. That's for that's for sure. Tell you what, though, it's a good buying opportunity. When you look at where it was 24 hours ago, that's a great price. Oh. Well, Hickviz, they need to make it $2,000 now if they want people to buy this thing to, to, make it, to, make it, to make it worthwhile. Oh. Actually, I appreciate you coming by, if you're even still here. I appreciate you coming by, man. Thank you. I wish I could somehow figure out how to do the live giveaways. Oh. Mm -hmm. Live stream giveaway tool. I'm trying, fellas. I'm trying. Really, I am. But it does not want to agree with me. It's a different one I'm trying. Now I've got to register for it. Mm. So I tried a different one and it said I had to register and it's supposed to be sending me an email. I'm still waiting on the email. Oh man. Giveaways continue. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out and see if there's a full image countdown interactive. You know, I saw, I Googled all these giveaways before I started this, just so y'all don't think I'm unprepared. And I even tested two or three different ones. They all worked. But for some reason, when I put this link of this share in here, but I got the Hickviz, but the problem is, is I don't know how to, how do you pick one person? I, I you know, with, with the um, giveaway, the way the giveaway is supposed to work is you put the link in for this, for this video, and it picks somebody. When I try to do that, it tells me it's either invalid link. Um, stream. Um, Try this one. This is a different one. There. Copy some bars. Let's 
See, this one says too, it can't access it. I, I don't know. Um, but yet when I share the link, it, it comes up. So I did that. Click share. So this is the link that we're on right now. So I'm clicking share, copy. So when I go to this one, I'll try it again. Paste the link of your media. Paste. Clear and access to media. I, I tested this one earlier. This one worked fine. College math. Video has disabled comments. So I don't know. So this is what's going to have to happen, to be fair. And I'm sorry, this is the only way I can figure out how doing it, because I know it worked earlier on some old. I know it worked earlier on some older videos because I tested it before. I tried to make a fool out of myself. It's here again. I can't figure it out. Um, I need 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> Be for the next giveaway. So when this is done, I'm going to move this video to my videos feed. And again, that's going to take like an hour because it takes an hour for um, YouTube to process it. But you'll see. You know, you'll see it in the videos section, not the live section anymore, the video section. When, it, when we do that, again, it should be an hour from now. I'll wait until tomorrow to give everybody time for it to process. Like I said, for some reason, it takes a while to process live. Y'all leave a comment. Hey, watch the video. Great job. And or something, just leave a comment and I'll pick, I'll, I'll pick two or three comments out of there and send y'all some entropy or something, some, some DeFly tokens. I'm sorry, I did not in DeFly, they announced the NFT project. Anyway, y'all know I couldn't do, y'all know I couldn't get through a whole live without throwing, sh casting shade as the kids say. So that's what I'll do. When we're done with this in a little bit, I'm gonna process it, gives about an hour, move it over to the videos, I'll even do a pin so y'all know it's the right video. I'll do a pinned comment that says, leave comments here, something like that. Y'all leave a comment, lie to me, tell me it was great. Y'all already looking forward to and counting down the time to the next live. And um, when y'all do that, I'll pick a comment out of there and we'll, we'll do some giveaways. Higviz. I'm lucky that homicides are not legal in the United States because I think Oreo would, would for real this time, he lied before when he says he was in New Orleans. I think he'd really come down to New Orleans if it was purging day or something like that, the way he feels about me. Problem, some people, some people can't handle being caught in lies. You got people who, have, when you have the evidence in front of them, they still want to deny it. I saw um, he posted, let me make sure, Actually, he's supposed to be, I don't want to say that, I don't want to say it on live feed, where he's going. But he announced in the D-Fly where he was going to some convention, and I'm really contemplating taking a road trip. It's a convention open to, to, to anybody about aviation. I'm into aviation, I, I fly on airplanes all the time. But I'm sure, just like in New Orleans, when we tried meeting with him back when we were talking, and he was in New Orleans, for um, the drone convention, and me and Crawfish kept trying to meet with him. He kept saying, I'm busy in meetings, I'm busy in meetings. Even though he said, hey, hey, I'm coming down there, I'm bringing y'all some swag, and we're gonna, do, we're gonna do dinner and all this stuff like that and get together and come up with some plans and stuff like that. Then he was busy in meetings, busy in meetings, busy in meetings. So anyway, yeah, so Cookie Man. Make a great laugh. <laughs>
The problem is nobody knows what he looks like. We have ideas. IO5. We have ideas of where he's from and what he used to be involved with, but nobody knows that for a fact. I have to give it to him. In the day and age that we live now, you know, you can look up an ex-girlfriend from high school and on, on people, whitepages.com and find out where she has loans from, what state she's in. And not that I would know anything about that. I'm just, I'm just told that. I'm just told that. But we did that as a joke one day, started looking at, remembering people we were in high school with and said, let's just see what Google finds. And in that day and age, you still don't know who, 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 who he really is. I have to give it, you have to give the man some kind of credit. He still has this, this thing going. Now they're selling NFTs and they gave some people some rewards. So I had to get crawfish. Crawfish text me last night out the blue. I got so much money from this NFT. I didn't respond back to him because I'm not getting triggered by it. Yeah. You, the admin, fellow admin got some money, but the people in the discord that I can still see are saying they didn't get no rewards. And y'all gave them rewards the first month of this stupid thing y'all doing. Let's see how long that lasts. But now they're trying to sell even more NFTs. What happened to drone detection? See what y'all did to me? We'll take some. I'm gonna take some. Uh, let me let me take one of my blood pressure pills right here. All right. Do a giveaway based on the best Oreo meme. But where would we share it at? Like where, where would, I mean, do you, do you share it in the entropy discord? You know, I, I, I do say there is a channel in the Moken discord. There is a channel, a project, whatever you call it, that is specifically for DFLY. It's basically dead because I was the only one, me and Bluster were the, basically the only ones ever commenting on it. So it made me look obsessed. I'm not obsessed. I could care less with it at this time. But y'all know me. My, my biggest thing is I can't watch. I can't stand watching. It's not that I'm obsessed. I'm just a person. I cannot stand watching people get scammed. There's a special place real down below. And I'm not talking about South Louisiana. Down below in the real heat area for scammers. If you ever saw... um. Well, not Happy Gilmore, but the one when he was the devil or whatever like that, and Hitler has to bend over with the pineapple up backwards and stuff. That's where that's where scammers belong. And I can't sit here every day watching more. If they're not, I'm told they're fake names. All these new people in their Discord. But I can't stand watching people get scammed. I'm tr I am tried to warn people, but then people say I'm obsessed and I do it for clickbait. I ain't doing it for clickbait. I'm trying to warn people to do your own research. The project is a scam. We've yet to see. Where are all the stations at at Walmart? They, did, they have magazine articles about stations at Walmart. You can't, you don't find a single one. We don't talk about that no more. Why? All these hundred something stations around some airport in, I don't know, Lebanon or somewhere. Where are all those stations at? Why does it, why does the air, an airport need a hundred stations? But you told people that so you can sell NFTs and, and you have people buy them. You can see on OpenSea that, some idiots bought that and it 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 bothers me because i know people are getting scammed and it pisses me off and i'm sorry for saying that but you know i don't know i want to hear more about erwin maybe i got maybe i need to get you know somebody to hold my hand tell me about erwin and uh do a video on it i don't know so XJ Wall, J Wall can tell you about about Oreo and Deep Lie. Well, guys, twenty one people. Look, I'm just rambling on now. If y'all want to keep rambling, I can keep rambling. Y'all, y'all see my videos. I can make this a three hour live, just discussing whatever y'all. I got sweet tarts. Blow up my heart medicine right here. We can keep talking. But, you know, they think I'm scared of them. Crawfish always text me when the why I have to be negative about everything. And I'm like, why do I got to keep scamming people? One day, one day, there'll be a three-digit letter um, department that knocks on their door. And I'm going to sit back with my sweethearts and can't do nothing for you, man.
Based on time, I thank you, appreciate it. Lee Vazelino says, hats from last week's giveaway should ship this upcoming Monday. And I've had some, some people, not a lot, I don't brag or exaggerate, but a couple of people asked if I was going to start selling them. I don't know why anybody would want to buy my hats or shirts, but if some people think they're going to be open to that, I'll work out something with DeVazzolino, and um, I don't want to make nothing off of it. Y'all know me, I'm not here to make money and stuff, so no, normally my YouTube's videos only make $2 a video this one time. You know, um, my new bestest friend in the whole wide world living in Dallas, Texas, the $100 thing, I, I'm still like flabbergasted over that. I'm speechless. But normally, you know, I don't want to make nothing off of nothing. So if I do sell any hats or shirts, it's strictly going to be to cover whatever DeVazzolino and his company wants for them. I don't want to make a dime off of it, cover the shipping. You know, what it costs for the shirts, what it's going to cost for the makeup. Mm, excuse me. Give me sweet tarts. And uh, we can do that. So, Blue Star, Blue Star, whatever we need to call you this way. Jason, I told everybody I bought it. Not financial advice. You know, I got to say that first. Not financial advice, but Grumpy is going to buy the dip. And it's dipping. It comes up a little bit and dips. They got some people selling. But it's got to be bots because if they're selling a dollar thirty, a dollar forty, a dollar thirty, dollar forty, you know, it, it ain't nothing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Let's see. You know, you, you look at what these values are down here, and these values are. Two dollars eighty cents, dollar, 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 dollar. So I, my thing is, it has to be bots doing all this. But then you got somebody bought thirty five dollars worth. Somebody bought twenty, thirteen dollars. So, well, you know, Elias, I'm gonna tell you. God bless my grandmother's soul. If you keep wearing them hats every day like that, you're going bald. No, I'm not. Ain't nobody in my family bald. Well, to my mama up in heaven, you were right, and I'm hard-headed. <laughs> so, Jason bought the first big dip. Thanks to you, made out pretty well, but still have a good amount. I'm going to tell y'all, I, I need some, some Lee and Lee fans for my computer build. I want to get into these new projects we talked about. Um, Skyx, Nubula, Anacoy. <laughs> Look, I, I'm torn. I, I want to support... The entropy entropy project, but I really want to take some profits. I was buying at four zeros, and I really want to take a little bit of profit so I can buy finish this computer build, get these projects, so I can bring you all information about these projects. Um, you know, I'm not buying Rover, <laughs> and I'm definitely not buying a Demo LTE like somebody asked. But um, yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to turn some of that money back into some passive income projects so I can bring that kind of stuff to y'all. Um, and look, if anybody knows of any other projects that might be coming out there somewhat new, hey, let me know. Drop me if you don't want to drop it in front of everybody. You can send me a email or something, or most of y'all know how to get in touch with me on Discord. So, um, still got twenty three people, twenty four people watching. For those who uh might have missed it. For some reason, none of the live picker YouTube things want to work. I'm at the end up just trying to pay for one. I'm at the end up paying for one anyway, because for those who didn't see it in the beginning, we have way more people here now in the beginning. I have a current contest going on starting the Monday, three days ago. From that Monday, you know, big update video I do. And every video after that. Until I reach 20,000, unless there's a limit on those pickers, how many videos you can add. But until I hit 20,000, anybody who you have to like the video is a subscriber on the subscriptions that subscribe to my channel and also has to subscribe to my Twitter X. I am going to pick four, five, six, seven winners, depending on how many giveaways I have. Um, 
and and we're gonna pick some winners to give away tokens. I don't know exactly what tokens yet. I'm sure there's gonna be some entropy involved, some other stuff involved, some hats, some um, entropy miners. Cause somebody donated those. You know, I got people donating me stuff to give to for the giveaway. They want it to be a big shebang thing. I might just do a video strictly on that. But until I reach twenty thousand, you know, you gotta do that with them videos. You also have to share each video on the Twitter. You have to share it to everybody sees it. Hey, it's my rules. I know I'm a pain in the butt. My wife reminds me every day. But on this video here, for some reason, the live picker doesn't want to work. So for those who missed it earlier, so when I'm done with this in about an hour, I'm hoping it takes about an hour. YouTube's slow on that stuff. But the, you, the live video that we're doing right now will show up in the video section. I'll have a pinned comment that says, drop your comments here. Comment on the video saying, hey, that was, this was the greatest time of my entire life, even better than when my kids were born. I'm just joking. My son turns 18 Saturday, and I just can't believe it. I remember when he was born like it was yesterday. Every priority in your life changes. But just leave some type of comment, and I'm going to pick today or tomorrow. I'm going to pick comment just strictly from today's video because I promised two winners today. On, on today's stream, I just can't get it to work. I'll give you all a couple of hours overnight to go ahead and leave a comment for today's video. I'm gonna pick two comments from there, two different people, and I'm gonna send you some, some, it, whether it's entropy or something, a hat, but I'm, I'm doing some kind of giveaway because these lives have been getting great. I keep telling my wife it's only gonna be an hour. Usually the old videos that had two people in it, but we're doing better. So, uh, Elias, is, is D Vazolino, are you still in the chat? Elias, D Vazolino, I don't know if you're in Discord. D Vazolino, who's in the Bit Harvest, um, he's a mod with Bit Harvest, and he's also in the Entropy. If you're in either one of those Discords, there he is right there. Y'all going to have to work out what it's going to cost for him to ship to Australia. So whatever, whatever um, y'all work out, he has my permission. Like I said, I'm not making a dime off these hats. We start selling them, give them whatever like that. I don't care. As long as he's covered on whatever he has expenses and whatever he wants in the shipping, I don't care. So, you know, that's, and, and I'll, I'll, what I'll do is, is I know you've been, one of my number one commenters in every YouTube video I've had. Number one, by far. Poor Mr. Glenn, if y'all know Mr. Glenn, who's also been one of my longtime followers. Look, I'm getting goosebumps. Mr. Glenn's the older guy that, that has been with me since D-Fly and with Entropy. I'm sorry, D-Fly, he actually is in Entropy. Um, Wing Bits, y'all see him comment all the time on my stuff. He's in the hospital right now. He's not doing too well. Y'all give him some prayers. He was going to try to watch today, but um, he's having all kinds of issues. So older gentleman, elderly gentleman, I've tried to help him as much as I can with some stuff. Um, poor man loves the, loves these projects, but can't can't get up to do antennas and stuff for his wing bit stuff. Um, Big Maxi, who's also in um in bit um wing bits, you know he tries to dial into his stuff. I try to move in stuff and try to help him out as best he can. But if y'all pray and y'all into that kind of stuff, y'all say some prayers for Mr. Glenn. But between Mr. Glenn and Mr. Elias, they've been one of my long time custom, uh, one of the long time commenters who've been on this channel for a long time. So, Elias, I'll work out something with with D Vazolino and uh, we'll work something out with you. I just know that I just know that when I asked him um, before about sending stuff outside the U.S., if y'all caught my live video last week, um, getting asking him about shipping stuff out of the United States, and then when he started telling me some prices. We weren't gonna be able to do that many giveaways. Once you leave the United States, it gets crazy, crazy. So, um, yeah. So whatever y'all work out, we'll let y'all know. So, all right. I appreciate everybody who's who's did this live. Um, again, watch for the video a little bit later. I'm gonna leave a comment so y'all know y'all commenting on the right live. It's gonna say drop y'all comments here, and it's gonna be pinned at the top. Y'all drop some comments, whatever y'all want to drop, 
preferably something nicely. And um, I'll pick out those comments and pick two or three winners or something. And we'll see how it goes. Yep, yeah, I was going to say that. You know, that's the good thing about giving away tokens and stuff because I don't have to worry about paying shipping on them. So, David, thank you, man. I, I'll try. Um, I've always said my whole life I've been one, the person to, um, to, to shy away from the cameras. I freaked out a couple of days ago because where I work at is supposed to be in the process of signing something to start doing live. Like, I don't know if it's going to be like cops or something like that or one of these things. And I am just downright cringing. I'm like, I, I need to go hurry up and go get some weight loss surgery. Hopefully, where with my division I work in now, I can just hide somewhere in the corner and not have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. But I usually hide from stuff. So me stepping in front of a camera like this, doing these videos is a very big thing for me. I can't stand listening to myself. So if somebody's in my office like, hey, man, look at Conrad's video. And I'm like, turn that off right now. Like, I can't, I can't hear myself talk. I can't stand it. So this is, this is usually a big, big step. So, all right, man. Thanks, Dave McDrip. Thanks, Blue Stir. Lies, Mr. Olive's son. He's another one that's been around for a long time. Um, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all the support. And, uh, you know, thank you all very much. Blair Harris is another one. Blair Harris, I, I doubt you're still here. It's five fifty. You know, I was thirty minutes ago. But yes, I canceled the Hive Mapper. Um, you know, J Wall. Thank you. Like you know, y'all all been helped, man. You know, it, it's been it's been absolutely crazy. Um, you know, passive crypto mining has helped me out a lot. Pet Hustler is another one. Elias, somebody asked about that earlier, what the price is going to be. Well, and look, you know, despite the fact that I do a lot of videos with WingBits, I don't have any inside source like that. Um, every now and then I do do some PMs with, with Axie, you know, or Robin or something like that. And it's basically just stuff that if I have a stupid question, like before I do a video, I might say, hey, I want to make sure I have this information correct. They don't give me any inside information. They're very professional. I have to give it to them. I wish they'd give me a little inside information to help my channel out, but they don't. I'm, and, it, and it's it's a good thing that they're very honest. It's a very honestly ran project. So I will PM them every now and then saying, hey, especially like Axie, Robin's busy and he's on a completely different time frame as me um, being overseas. But I'll say, hey, I want to make sure that this is correct. And Axie is quick to go ahead and correct me. No, 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 no. This is what it is. But when I've asked about pricing or availability, Mum's the word. Um, but I have said over and over that when you look at what just a normal GeoNet station cost, I think I paid 600 something for mine. You have to, and then you look at how more rugged, and this is a combined thing, you have to imagine it's going to cost, you know, but yeah, you're putting the WingBits module in there. That might be another $100. So that's, you got 700 something right there. I have to think that, right, it's a combo device, so you know it's going to be high. I, I, I agree with it. Um, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of pushing for maybe, hey, guys, since you know I've been with this project, when I started with WingBits, there was only three or four stations in the United States. I want to say it was last June. That was before beta. I want to say it was like May or June. I'm open since, hey, I've been talking about y'all for that long. Maybe y'all can get me a... A device to do an unboxing for y'all so i can kind of show y'all um you know i know they're doing that giveaway so i don't know if that giveaway is still going on but hey try to do the giveaway that's on um the twitter check it out i don't know if that if it's if it's still going on or not but try it out um tell you wing bits is a project that knows how some of us have gotten messed around with other projects and they are trying to do right they're trying to you know i've, I've tried to warn people that their tokenomics are not 100% set in stone yet. They are constantly looking at them. They ask me, hey, is there any feedback? And, and I'll give them some feedback of what people are saying. But, you know, is, is, is it, and I know I'm getting off tangent and we're supposed to be wrapping this up. But just to tell you that they're always working. These guys are always working. Even though they don't have no BYOD stations to give out no more, they're always working. They're asking, are tokenomics a little lopsided? Hey, if I want to put a station here where they got other stations, I'm only getting five tokens. But the guy in Africa is getting a thousand a day on one station. Do we need to somehow even those out a little bit? And they're looking at stuff like that. Hey, if somebody's closer, <clears throat> excuse me, 
closer to an airport that can get lower altitude stuff going in and out, should there maybe be a different mechanism for people close to the airports? I think that's a good idea. You, you me being 15 miles away from the Orleans International Airport, even though I'm my friend's 400 foot tower, I'm sure there's still some clipping of a signal as it gets real low, where if somebody lived a mile away from an airport, they could probably get way better signal on the ground and just at takeoff first 1,000 feet. I don't see an issue with them getting a little bit more of a reward. I'm not saying they need 200 more, but I, I could see that. Looking forward to free GPS module for the self-built wing bits. Big Viz, keep your comments to yourself. No, just joking. My, my issue with that is I got 14 stations. I got two or three out of like three, three out of state because of, um, you know, other people hosting it for me. I, I can't rely on them to keep it online sometimes. I can't imagine the deadline of me trying to get that GPS to them and getting it outside or something like that. But I also have stations around me that I've installed that are two hours away this way, two hours away this way, two hours away this way. So that's all different days I'm going to have to go either take off of work Saturday or Sunday if I can get access into those buildings and those rooftops. But some of mine are in a building roof in like what they call the penthouse. But, you know, I have a 40 or 50 foot um, LMR 400, KMR 400 going to the antenna. I don't know how I'm going to get the GPS out. And I've told them that. And it, I, I'm not taking it down because it's, it's probably my top three or four station in Baton Rouge because you could almost literally see the airport in Baton Rouge International Airport. But I don't know how I'm going to get the GPS outside. So, yes, the godfather of the Gulf problems. It is what it is. Um, so, all right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, if there's any ladies out there, I appreciate everybody who did this live with me. We had fun. Let me go ahead and shut this down so I can let YouTube's slow processing process to a uh, video. It might take a little bit longer than an hour, but either way, I'm going to give it, you know, a good 15, 20 hours or something to tomorrow before I pick those comments. And I'll send some rewards out, maybe a little bit more, since uh, it was such a pain in the butt. But look, I thank y'all very much for, for all the support that y'all have given this channel. Make sure y'all share it with some friends. Get me to 20,000 so I don't have that looming over my head. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Give away some, some giveaways, give away some entropy. You know, hopefully entropy goes back up to 0 0.005 like it was earlier, because then that's less entropy I have to give out. You know, if I want to give everybody twenty dollars worth, twenty five dollars worth, four people twenty five dollars worth, it'd be at at point zero zero six. The less entropy I gotta give out. So, thank you all very much. I appreciate.